Okay guys, Big Slick here with another repair video. This is a Dell Inspiron desktop computer. It came with Windows Vista, 4 gigs of RAM, and a dual core AMD Athlon CPU. So the question is, this sold for only one dollar at the thrift store because it was broken. They had already pulled the hard drive out, but that wasn't the main issue. The issue was that the computer was flashing an amber light, which is very common with these old Dell com uh, Inspiron desktop computers. And there seems to be some ambiguity as to what the solution is to fix this. Well, I will explain to you how to fix a lot of these problems and possibly what some people are doing wrong and the reason they're not having a very simple, easy fix to this. The problem is often a bad CMOS battery. Here is the battery that I pulled out of here. I marked it with a red X to, to denote that it's a bad battery. Now, with this... Uh, multimeter battery tester I will show you that the battery is bad this is an actual load test so if you put this on here you will see that it's actually pretty much dead as a doornail you get almost no current pass basically a tenth of a mil that's totally defective now I'll show you a brand new a CMOS battery. You can actually get these about five for a dollar with free shipping on eBay. So that's a bargain even if you would find one or two that aren't quite as strong as you know the one you would buy locally it's still a great value. So if you test this one you will see that you're passing 8.3 mils of current. So this is an excellent battery. So how do you solve this? Step number one, you're going to unplug the power off of the machine. Pull the power cord out. Step number two, you will go down and pop out the CMOS battery. In this example, the CMOS battery is directly on the motherboard underneath the video card that I put in here. I mean, that doesn't take a rocket scientist to know how to pop that battery out. So you, re you pull the battery out. Now don't put the new battery in yet. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to put the power back on and the power, you're going to plug the power cord back in. Then you're going to go up front and hit the power button. So you'll go up front and the power button is obviously right here. You're going to turn the power on. You will see that nothing will have changed. You will still have the amber light and the machine won't boot up so nothing will change at that point now what you're going to do is you get your finger and you hold in on the power button while it's still amber then you're going to reach back and you're going to pull out the power cord while you continue to hold this button in and you're going to continue to hold it in until you see all signs of power on the machine have been removed in other words, you'll see a light on the motherboard. You'll make sure that that is no longer lit. You'll make sure that the light up front here is no longer lit. So in other words, you're draining power out of the machine. I think this is the mistake that people make. They just put a new CMOS battery in, try it, and find that nothing has changed, that the machine still has the amber light problem that doesn't work you have to drain the power out of the system I can tell you that ironically even if you put a jumper cable on the battery terminals of the CMOS battery that still will not solve it apparently there's some other place that is storing power and contributing to this problem so the only way you can drain it is by holding in on the power light pulling the cable while you continue to hold in on the power button and then you will see if you hold that in for about give it at least 30 seconds maybe even a minute just make sure that it's all drained out then you pull the plug get your new CMOS battery install it put the power back 
back in and you should be good to go. And then you'll you'll solve your problem. At least this has solved multiple ones of these Inspirons that I've picked up over the years. You can find these things almost give away now because it's old technology and desktop computers are cheap anyway, but if you need another machine for internet browsing or maybe to play some old games on and you don't you don't want to put them on a, a newer machine because you know they're older maybe games from the XP era and you don't really need a new machine to play those games on uh, you know a machine like this can have a lot of value from that standpoint because you don't have much invested in it so that is the solution I'm sure there are probably other reasons for the amber light problem and it's not a guarantee it's going to fix everybody's problem but for some reason these machines react uniquely to changing that uh, CMOS battery. Most machines when you pop that CMOS battery out and you give it a little bit of time it'll totally drain out and any errors you were having you can solve them. But with this you have to, you have to force the power out of this system in order for it to work. And I, I don't know if it's a bug in the BIOS or just a, a design issue on the motherboard but I've solved it on multiple machines like this and I know some other people have as well so that's the key give it a shot if not you don't have much invested if it works for you then you resurrected a machine for you know the cost of a 20 cent CMOS battery okay thanks a lot bye